guys and welcome back to the Witch's Boudoir slash Sandra Sparks makeup tutorial and YouTube channel as well as my blog. Um, today I'm doing something a little bit different. Um, I don't know if you guys remember but a couple of days ago, a couple yeah, a couple of days ago, about a week ago now, um, I said I was going to start uploading more face masks and foot masks and skincare kind of things um, as a video for you guys, purely because I do want to get back into a routine of actually using like face masks and that sort of thing. Um, and as I've kind of like ended up with a whole collection of face masks and iPad, under eye pads and things like that, um, I thought it would be a good way to like review the products as well as like have something else to add to my blog. Um, so yeah, um, the, uh, this video is actually going to be about the Dr. Jarrett Hood Shake and Shop Shoot um, Rubber Hydro Mask. Um, this I got in this month's glossy box yeah glossy box um I will say that I do really love the actual packaging I think that it's really quite cute um so yeah I do actually really like this um the reason I'm doing this first is purely because I actually want to see how this could be like how it is um so yeah I'm kind of curious about this so this is what I'm going to be doing first um, there will be quite a gap between like having put the mask on for when it's like set and everything So yeah, you guys will get to see different stages of it. So firstly, I'm just going to take the lid off I'm going to show you what comes in this pack and then I will be creating this mask So firstly you get a little spatula um, You get I think these are instructions. Yeah, I think these are the instructions. Let's have a look Yet yeah. Sort of. <laughs> I have to find it in English. Where is it in English? Is it in English? No, is there in is there English? Swedish, Danish, Polish. English. Um, so yeah, basically it tells you how to do this. Um, this does seem a little bit scientific for me, so I'm probably just going to go, what the hell? Um Basically, this has the benefits of removing dead skin cells, improving the skin's clarity, enhancing radiance before your daily skincare routine. So, yeah, for me, this is kind of something that I would probably use in an evening pampering session because that's kind of more when I would use a face mask. And I will apologise about next door's child screaming, if you can hear that on webcam. Um, but yeah... They have music going on, so yeah, I'm being all calm and nice. Um, so yeah, basically I'm going to follow the instructions and hope for the best. Um, open and remove the spatula from the cup up to combine both part sets, sets one and two. Close the lid and shake well until fully mixed. So basically you have two little, like packets this is set one which you put in first and then you have so I just dropped it part two which is like more liquidy um, and you basically put them in this little cup and then just shake and they should mix together and then you can like use the spatula to mix it a bit more if need be and use it to like apply to your skin so yeah, we shall get see get on and see how this turns out. What I am going to do is just pause the video and go and get some scissors so I can open these packets because me and scissors seem to be the option for these, I think. So I shall be right back. So yeah, now I have my little scissors for this. I'm just going to start by opening up packet number one and just applying this to the cup. I will say I do feel a little bit strange about this, you know, I've never done a mask like this, they've always been like pre-made, um, I do feel a little bit strange about doing this, so yeah, but hey, we try these things, you know, all in the name of trying new products. So yeah, this is kind of like a two-handed job. Um, 
yeah, it's kind of like the first amount of stuff packeted. I will say it does smell quite nice. It has a slight lemony smell to it, um, but it is a little bit strange, you know. So yeah, let's see if I can get all of this out of this pack. I will say that I believe this company have another um, mask set like this um, that's like a heated mask, um, which I am tempted to go and find and try that as well. Um, but that's meant to be for more like firming the skin. So now I'm going to add the part two to this liquid um, stuff. So yeah. So yeah, that's very much like liquid should be. Um, so yeah, that's all the liquid out of that. So yeah. And then we just put the lid on and it says to just shake. So yeah, that's pretty much all I need to do. It doesn't really say how long you have to shake it for. Um, So yeah, I'm guessing that's pretty much it mixed. Yeah, um, it is like a sort of blue shade. Um, I'm a little bit scared to try this, to be honest, but okay. So it says to use the spatula to apply this product. So that's literally what I'm gonna do. I will say that I don't usually use a spatula like this. Usually I use like a small brush um, type spatula because it's just so much easier for me. Um, it just works better. Um, I will say this spatula is almost unwieldy. Um, might be more useful for different masks, I guess, but for this current one, like I just want to use my hands and like spread it with my hands. I will say there's quite a bit in this product um, to actually spread onto the skin. Um, yeah. Like, the nose is a problem and I like to get my nose covered. <laughs>
yeah. As you guys can probably tell, this is going to take some time to actually, like, get this on your face. Yeah, normally I would, like, have something a lot quicker to be able to apply this. Um, personally, so far, I think this spatula and this product on the actual applicating take a little bit too long for my comfort. So, yeah. As for the smell, it's kind of like, the easiest way of describing this, the smell of this is like, I can't really say it smells like rubber um, per se, but it does have like a lemony scent to it, which is a little bit strange to me. Um, So, there we go, yeah. So that is the whole face done. I now have to wait 15 to 20 minutes for it to set. Um, it should be able to like peel off apparently, but considering how thick this mask is, um, yeah, I'm not sure it's gonna probably peel off. Um, so yeah, I shall come back in about 15, 20 minutes to show you everything that's happened and what I think of this actual product. See you in about 15, 20 minutes. Hi guys, I'm back. So yeah, um, it's now the time to actually peel this mask off. And all I'm gonna say is when they say it's like rubber, it really is like rubber. Like seriously, it feels like rubber. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm kind of a little bit surprised by this. Uh, surprised is the wrong word. I'm a little bit like mesmerized by it, to be honest. It's like, it's stress relief. <laughs> It's like, yeah, it's a rubber mask. Um, so yeah, now is the time to actually peel it off. And first and first of all, um, it's drying. Um, it dried quite quickly. Um, it's very cooling on the skin, which I thought was quite nice. Um, it does feel a little bit gooey though. Um, and it does feel quite heavy on the face. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a little bit strange. So I'm just gonna be very careful and just like pull this off. Ugh. <laughs> uh, okay I will say that came off really quite nicely um yeah as you can see it really is like rubber it is very elasticated um it does actually feel like rubber basically um yeah it's it's very strange it's a little bit a little bit weird maybe a little bit too weird for me um, so yeah, I'm just gonna continue pulling this off. I will say that my skin does feel quite nice um, after having you use this. Um, I don't feel like I'm gonna have to wash loads of re residue off my skin, which is one thing that I have noticed with a lot of face masks is they're like, oh yeah, you can do this as a daily routine or part of your normal daily routine. And it's like, yeah, no. I end up having to still wash my face to the nth degree to get the residual stuff off from a face mask, which isn't really beneficial of a face mask when you think about it. So yeah. <laughs> so yeah, well, how does my skin feel after using that? Well, I will say that my skin feels a little bit dry um and not in the sense that it's like dried to a crisp but it feels like it's been like well moisturized um and it's got that sort of smooth feeling um so yeah it does feel quite nice um the skin does feel quite cool so i don't know if this like has a cooling effect um rather than like just sitting on the skin and just like drying because this does feel very 
like cool to the touch. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit strange. Um, I will say that I am very impressed with this. Um, it does feel quite nice. Um, there doesn't seem to be that much residual stuff in that is a problem. Um, like moisturizing my face without any moisturizer or rubbing the skin just to see like what's attached to it still. Um, yeah, I will say personally, although this is a little bit strange, I'm not put off by it. I think the packaging is a little bit weird. It is very unique, you know, it is quite unique. I'm a little bit disappointed because the mask wasn't actually this blue color. Um, and I really wanted it to be this blue color. Um, but personally, I will say this is actually pretty good. Um, I would recommend it for like, if you have dry skin and eczema prone skin. Um, I don't know how it's gonna affect my spots because I have a large amount of acne all coming up at the moment. Um, my spots like on webcam do look quite bad at the moment. Um, but yeah, they do seem less red than what they were earlier today. Um, so yeah, that's not too bad. Um, the next part of this blog is actually a little bit of a two-parter. Uh, because I also got in my glossy box this year the Mud Musky After Mask Vitamin Serum. Now this is the first of their kind. Um, this is basically a serum that you use after using a face mask. Um, however, this does cost £43. Um, hmm. Yeah, um, it is the first of its kind being a serum specially designed for after using a mask. Um, so I think, you know, without further ado, I think it's fair to actually try this as well. Um, you know, especially after having just tried a mask. This is probably going to be a regular item that gets shown on my blog during these blogs, these mask blogs. So yeah, let's just... Okay. So yeah, it's literally just like a normal clear white serum type color. Um, nothing really problematic. Um, it's a little bit of dry skin. So yeah, it doesn't really seem to have any problems. I will say it doesn't really have that much of a scent. Um, there is like a little scent, but there's not much of a scent. So yeah. Mm. Okay, so that's the serum on. Um, it just seems to work like any other serum personally. It's, you know, it absorbs into the skin, you know, it, you know, gives the skin a little bit more, you know, health quality, I guess. Um, but personally, it's no different from any other serum. Um, I don't feel any different about this than what I would do with the other serums that I have. Um, so personally saying that it's specially formulated for after masks. Mm, okay, you're just looking for a gimmick. Um, yeah, I'm going to see how this goes over the next day or so. I will give you guys an update during the actual blog part of this video. Um, so yeah, if you watch this on The Witch's Boudoir, if you read a little bit further down, then you'll see my thoughts the day after having done this face mask and this serum. Um, personally, this is no different from any other serum. Um, so yeah. Um, but my final thoughts on the Dr. Jara... Uh, Gerard Hart Shake and Shoot. Um, personally, I think it's quite interesting. I do like the fact that you make it yourself. Um, it gets you a bit more involved. I do think it's a little bit fiddly though, because you're having to make it yourself. Usually when you want a face mask, you generally just want to apply it. Um, but I do quite like this. I think it'd be good for like, um, you know, like parties and that. I think that'd be quite cool. Um, the one thing about this that I didn't like is the spatula. The spatula was quite hard and it wasn't as easy to apply the actual mask as I'd like it to be. Um, it was almost like it was just scraping the mask on. 
um, rather than just applying it nicely. Um, so I found like I was going over it and then it would like scrape it down rather than just smoothly over. So yeah, it's the scraper on with this mask doesn't really work for me. But having said that, I do really like this mask. I would recommend it. Um, as for the serum, personally, it is no different from any other serum. In fact, I can feel it's no different from any other serum. So yeah, I'm just gonna say, yeah, 43 pounds for a serum. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, so that is today's video. Um, as you guys know, if you saw my post on Instagram last weekend, um, I said that I was going to bring out something new. Um, I also said this back in on Monday, I was going to bring something new out to YouTube and to my blog. Um, yes, it is another video day. Yes, it is another blogging day. But this is purely to encourage me to just take that little bit of time just to take care of myself, um, but also review a few products. Um, I will say that I have got a rather large box of face um, masks and foot masks. There are some foot masks in here. Um, so yeah, it's these are for the next few weeks to try. I probably have enough for at least three months. Um, but yeah, um, this is encouraging by a friend of mine who very kindly said to me that, you know, I need to take care of my skin because although my skin is looking a little ropey and does have days where it looks worse than others, um, if I'm worried about my skin, I should take care of it. So yeah, this is my way of encouraging myself and, you know, having friends like that, you know, who needs enemies? So yeah, that's pretty much it today. Um, I will show, blah, blah, blah. I shall see you on the next video and the next vlog. Um, while I'm doing this, I have no idea when this is actually going to get uploaded. Um, I was planning on it being like a kind of two weekly video idea, two weekly blog idea. Um, but I think I'm gonna bring it on to like a Saturday night um, video, possibly here Sunday, bring back the Sundays, but keep like the Mondays as they are. Um, but I'm just gonna see how it goes over the next week or so and decide that for myself. Um, and get you guys fully know what is going on with this new extra blog idea that I've got. So yeah, I shall see you all soon. Bye.